All right, so now let's answer the next part of the question. So the next part says express the um, equation for the cosine wave. So remember I mentioned sine and cosine are exactly the same. They are just horizontal shifts from each other. So where we started here for sine, we're just going to start at a different place for cosine. And we're just going to follow the same steps. It's going to be a little less work because we've done most of the work already. All right, so I always like to draw or think of the original just so you have that in your mind. y equals cosine of x. Remember, cosine always starts at 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 1. So cosine looks like that. And that is what we're going to be trying to match up on our graph. All right, we've already found the middle part here. So now we just want to compare. So I'll use blue here. So we want to compare the starting point of our original and find a starting point to use on this graph up here. So remember, cosine starts up high and then crosses the middle. So we want to find a place where our graph starts up high and then crosses the middle. So I think here is a good place to start our cosine graph, right? Because it matches up with what happens here, and so that means it's going to end here. All right, so we've already done step two by doing step one. So step three, we need to find the words, which most of the words are going to be exactly the same because we the middle is the same. All right, so A, our amplitude, sorry, words first, amplitude is still three, just like it was before. Our vertical shift, well, the middle was the y-axis, now it's shifted up two units, exactly the same. Let's look at the period next. All right, so the period of this graph, so how long it takes to repeat, well, we start here and here. We can just subtract them. This should look very familiar. Same period as with the sine graph. The only difference, so basically all of these numbers are exactly the same. The only difference is going to be our phase shift. So this horizontal shift, that's the only difference between sine and cosine. So notice, we start here at 0, 1, so at 0 on the x-axis. So notice here, this has been shifted over 3 over 2 units. So 3 halves is going to be the phase shift. And we shift it to the right, so we're just going to keep it positive. All right, so since all of these are the same, all of our letters are going to be the same except C, right? All of the work should be exactly the same. So for our letters, A is 3, D is 2, and B is pi over 2. Exactly the same as what we got with sine. So now we just have to figure out what C is, and we get that from the phase shift. All right, so our phase shift was 3 over 2, and we know our formula is negative C over B. Luckily, we were given B, or we found B. We can multiply. I'm kind of running out of space here. C is negative 3 pi over 4. All right, so now we can come up with our equation for cosine. I'm going to try to squeeze it in up here. 
So y equals 3 cosine pi over 2x. Remember our c is now different. It's negative 3 pi over 4 and then plus 2. So this is our cosine graph. So remember, we always start with the words first and come back and figure out what our letters are. So if you have any questions, make sure you ask about them in class. All right, have a good day.